first time for first. me. Oh, yeah. okay. Well, welcome. It's good you didn't come last year. We had zero. So the monarchs, when they when they leave the areas where they are in late summer, early fall, they can't stay up in the northern part of the United States and even in Canada because the temperatures are too cold and they'll freeze. So they come down along the California coast. The monarch butterflies are probably the lifeblood of this community. We rely so much on them for hospitality, tourism, marketing. Anything that we do ties with the monarchs and the migration of the monarchs. There is a concern, and the concern is that the numbers have dipped so severely and so drastically in the last few years. California has been in a drought uh, for several years now, and they need nectar sources in order to be able to fill their bellies and be active and survive. So if we don't have nectar sources and we don't have the water that's um, providing that, then that is an issue. All the sites last year had very low, low numbers. And like I said, it was under 2,000 for the total Western population. It was really a disaster. Uh, and it was the first year in many, many years. I don't recall having such a bad year before and I thought they were done, they were gone, they're not gonna ever come back. And sure enough, this year, boom, they landed. Last year we had under 2,000, and this year already it's an estimated 50,000. So that's huge. And we're excited about that, but the next thing is what's gonna happen next year, next season. We have to really look at um, long-term. We can't just look at this year. It's nice that we can see that they're still around, so you know, don't stop protecting them or anything, whatever we gotta do, and keep keep this number around. It's just like right above it. 